apogee. Hole preview. Hey apogee. Aim right. Hey apogee. Mulligan. Yes. That's probably the one I'll use the most. What's up fellow garage golfers? Rolling here with Garage Golf where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Pretty excited about today's video. We've got a brand new unit here to show off for you guys with the True Golf Apogee. And it's one of, if not the very first unit that has built-in artificial intelligence. You can give it verbal commands and it does what you say. I'm pretty pumped about this one. Let's get into it. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell notification for more videos like the one you're watching here today. Of course, if you're interested in building your own golf simulator at home, I wanna be your go-to person before you look at anything, before you buy anything, reach out to me, Roland at mygaragegolf.com. I wanna be your go-to person. It's completely free of charge for me to help you. This is how we get paid here at Garage Golf is by helping as an affiliate. So any products you're looking to purchase, we can send you our affiliate links for, but most importantly, we're gonna walk you through it step-by-step, step, even after the purchase to make sure that you're happy and you have a fully functioning simulator that's gonna work for your needs at home. So make sure you reach out to us today. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff about the True Golf Apogee, including some of the AI functionality and some of the commands that you can give it, similar to what I showed you at the beginning of this video. And at the very end of this video, we're also gonna show you a very unique sneak peek of the Apex software that's coming up from True Golf. And you're gonna see a major difference between what you see behind me and some of the stuff that we're gonna show you on the Apex software as well. So I'm looking forward to bringing that to you. So in regards to the True Golf Apogee, it's actually a very, very precise unit. It's able to give you not only ball data, but also club data without you having to have any specifically marked golf balls or stickers on your club. So that makes it one of its kind in my book. Currently, the True Golf Apogee is priced at around 11,500 as of the time of this video, which puts it pretty much in a category unique to like the Unicore IXO and possibly even the TrackMan IO. But again, really the only unit in which you can give verbal commands. So I'm looking forward to showing you that a little bit more. Other than mounting the True Golf Apogee to your ceiling, setup and calibration is a breeze with its automated calibration feature. And again, it has the verbal commands and a launch pad that's gonna show you exactly where you place the golf ball, which I'll show you here down below here on camera, as far as where you place the ball in relation to the actual target and the circle that's in there. And you're gonna know exactly when you're ready to hit a shot because that circle will disappear right when you're ready to hit that shot as well. The laser launch pad will show you where to place the ball and switches off when the system is armed. So that lets you know as a user that you're ready to hit that shot. This makes a very unique feature, which is also cool for commercial applications. So when someone places a ball down, they're not guessing or whether or not they're in that hitting zone. They're gonna know exactly that they're ready to hit their shot. The Apogee also sends shots faster, which is powered by the AI vision algorithm called Instant Impact. This measurement system accurately measures and computes ball data instantly. There is no pause between real world strike and the simulated ball flight that you're gonna see on the screen, thus providing you with a truly immersive experience. So to summarize everything pretty much in one short sentence, Apogee makes great golf easy. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what the Apogee measures, and I have it down here because there's too much to remember all on camera. But what the Apogee actually measures is gonna be ball speed, backspin, side spin, vertical launch angle, horizontal launch direction, club head speed, club face angle, and club path. In regards to the verbal commands, we actually have two pages of items that Apogee can do all from giving your voice commands. So what this basically eliminates 
is the need from having to go back and forth to the computer or using, say, a actual control box on the floor. In this case, with the TrueGolf Apogee, you're able to give a verbal command directly to the unit, and the unit's gonna respond and do exactly what you say. That's a really cool feature. I'm looking forward to showing you that here as well. All right, so that's enough of an intro, don't you think? Let's go ahead and get right into the gameplay. We're gonna take you to E6 Connect using the TrueGolf Apogee, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play two holes on one of their newest courses, which I have behind me, in Sweetman's Cove. That's one of the newest courses that they put up on E6 Connect. And then what we're gonna do after we play these two holes is we're gonna take you to the brand new Apex software. I'm gonna show you a hole on that as well, show you a little bit of a difference in what you're gonna see with the graphics. There's some cool stuff coming out from TrueGolf and E6, and uh, really looking forward to seeing that Apex software. That's gonna be a game changer. Okay, so let's show you a few more verbal commands that the TrueGolf Apogee can do. So we're here on the T-Box. Hey Apogee, driver. So as you can see, you can easily change your club right before you hit so you can accurately track all your shots with each club. No more having to go back and forth to the computer to change your club. So let's say you find the right distance and you wanna work on a shot over and over again that you wanna just continuously practice. All you have to do, hey Apogee, Practice. And that's automatically gonna put you in practice mode on E6 Connect here, which will allow you to then hit that shot on a repeated basis. Hey Apogee, resume. And that will automatically take you out of practice mode. Let's hit our first shot. On this hole, we're gonna have par five, 494 yards. Hey, Apogee, get me out of the bunker. I wish there was one of those. All right, and as you see, you're going to get contact of where you made contact with your ball. You're going to get a video. Kind of dark there because I have the lights off in here uh, just for the video purposes. But you're going to see where your club is making contact with a golf ball. If you miss that screen, let me show you how to get back to that as well. If at any point you want to see the analyzer again, all you got to do is say, hey, Apogee, analyzer. And there you get to see your swing replay again, as well as all the numbers from your previous shot. And you can also change the duration of that screen as well. There you see the swing again on repeat, over and over again. Pretty cool feature. Hey Apogee, resume. Once you get the hang of the verbal commands, it sings a piece of cake. 283 of the hole, we're gonna use our six iron. Hey Apogee. Six iron. Ready to take our shot. Out of the rough, got penalized a bit there. It was actually a pretty good strike for me. Let's see where we hit it with the club face. Yeah, struck it pretty good, as you see on the video at the bottom. Hey, Apogee. Analyzer. If you like that you could turn that on at any point, see your swing back from the built-in camera built in directly into the Apogee itself. Good contact overall, just got penalized for being in the bunker. Hey Apogee, resume. As you can see, you can flow back and forth quite easily with the Apogee. We have 170 yards, and use that same six iron again. Oh, too hard. See, same shot pretty much. Just not penalized this time, 185. Again, good contact with that shot there. A little too good of contact. All right, so we're about 60 feet away, but we got a little bit of a left to right break with this shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell Apogee what to do here. Hey Apogee, aim left. All right, so it's automatically gonna aim us left, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my shot from there. I'm using a wedge. We're about 60 feet away. All right, got it close. Let's see if we can make that putt. 
And for ease of use and convenience, I have my putt set up to align brake, so automatically aligns the brake. I just gotta worry about the speed. But let's say you didn't have that feature and you wanna adjust. Hey, Apogee, aim right. Perfect. Hey, Apogee, aim left. Aim left. I'm back to normal. So, as you can see, it's gonna keep you from having to go back and forth to that computer on a regular basis. We've got eight and a half feet away. Let's see if we can knock this putt in here. Came up a little short on that putt, still adjusting to the speed on E6. Um, so we got hole number two now. Hey, Apogee, scoreboard. Well, I think I probably should have said scorecard, but it still read it. So as you see, I got a six on a par five, so I'm one over for now. Hey, Apogee, resume. And we're ready for our first shot, hole number two. Hole number two on Sweden's Cove is 347 yards. We'll be using a driver to start with. We're in the fairway, I'll take it. We'll be about 134 yards away for our next shot. Hey, Apogee, eight iron. Again, you can see you change your club before every shot. 134 away. Stay. I think we're right off the green there. Little toey, I thought. Yeah, not too bad. Hey, Apogee. Analyzer. Here again, you see our points of data. Distance, 144. Carry, 133.6. Launch angle, 21.5. Club speed, 73.6. Ball speed, 96.5. Backspin 43.95, direction, smash factor 1.31, club face 0 0.8, side spin 178, and club path 1.1. That gives you an idea on all the different things that the Apogee is measuring as we take those shots. Hey, Apogee, resume. Hey, Apogee, resume. And let's say I'm on the fringe, but I want to go ahead and putt it out, which I like to do with my Texas wedge. All we gotta do is tell Apogee. Hey, Apogee. Hey, Apogee. Putter. We're good to go. We have 31 feet away, downhill four inches. That'll put us in our five foot gimme circle. Little open face, you get to see your putter as well. That's pretty neat, I like that. And we got a gimme at 3.4 feet. Hey, Apogee, scorecard. And we got a par on that hole. So one over through two holes using E6 Connect on Sweden's Cove. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you some of the new software, which is the Apex software. Now I wanted to show you a lot of the vocal commands, the voice commands that you can do with Apogee on E6 because what, we, what we're basically talking about, stop listening, Apogee. Hey, Apogee, resume. <laughs> so what we're basically talking about is that we're on very much on a beta mode for the Apex software at this point. I do wanna show you some of the gameplay and some of the graphics, but it's not gonna have anywhere near the verbal command. So let's go ahead and switch it out. I'm gonna put it on the Apex software. We're gonna show you a hole or two on that one and see what you think, but I think you're gonna be really, really surprised with the way the graphics look overall. Let's jump on it. All right, so now what you see behind me here is the Apex software. So you can see a lot of this says coming soon because this is still very much in beta mode. But we're gonna have golf challenges, we're gonna have club fitting option, we're gonna have club gapping option, and we're actually gonna have a combine, all of this being done by True Golf. So really, really cool. For now, we're gonna have the option to pick practice. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And we can actually show you probably a little bit of actual course play as well with that. So. Let's go ahead and jump into practice and I'll show you a little bit more about the Apex software. All right, and we're in practice here and I'm gonna show you Lofoten links. Lofoten looks really, really good. I'm gonna show you that one. And they have a driving range as well as different holes. 
And I'll adjust this if I'm wrong, but I think what we're trying to do with this moving forward with the True Golf software is the driving range is gonna be unique to the driving range of the course that you've selected. So if they have a specific driving range at Lafoten that's different than let's say Pebble Beach, you, you would also see the differences there. So let's take a look at the driving range really quick. I'll show that to you and we'll take a look at another one to see if they differ from each other. All right, so we're taking you to Lafoten driving range now. And I think you're instantly gonna see a pretty big difference in the graphics overall. So here's their driving range. And you can see a lot of shadows and a lot of things in regards to this. And remember, all of this is all right now very much in beta. So if you see little glitches or things, that's definitely why. Don't judge it by what you see here today. This is just a very much a sneak peek. So we have the driving range for Lafoten here. I'm gonna hit one shot and we're gonna switch it up and see what a different driving range looks like. Even if you notice up here, I don't have the map. The map's not popping up in the upper corner right now. And if I were to give a verbal command like, hey, Apogee, seven iron. All it says right now is connected. So it only has very, very few vocal commands right now that you can give it, so we're not gonna be really doing any of that. But let's just take one shot here. So again, this is unique to Lafoten Links. This is their driving range. So really cool. You see some of the numbers on the side. Again, everything's in beta right now. So I'm gonna switch it up. Let's pick Pebble Beach and pick their driving range. Let's see what the difference looks like. All right, so now let's pick Pebble Beach and let's pick All right, so we go to Pebble Beach. They don't have a driving range. So this is all part of learning on the fly here. But as you see, Teeth of the Dog does. They not only have a driving range east, but they have a driving range west and a 40 yard chipping range. So let's go to the driving range west and we'll see how that looks. All right, and as you see behind me, this is the driving range west for Teeth of the Dog. Definitely a much different look to it. So unique driving ranges per course. That's something really cool that we haven't seen yet with anyone. I like that. Obviously, we're looking right into the sun here. I don't know if we can change the time of day. I'm gonna see if we can do that yet or not with the demo. Yeah, so we can change some stuff. We can do time of day, morning, afternoon. So now it's a lot brighter. We could take away any cloud cover or we can add cloud cover. So fog, rain, or snow. And then sunset. So it'll change the shadows as you'll see on the screen. Let's pick afternoon and take that away now. And see, as you can obviously tell behind me, the sun, we're not looking right into the sun now. So different time of day, different types of shadows, different placement of the sun, all very unique features. Really bad shot. But overall, really, really cool as far as the graphics and the fact that you have unique driving ranges per course as they continue to pump out these courses, that's going to be a really, really unique feature because you can go to the driving range, test it out unique for that course. It's like playing a, a video game, Major League Baseball, and going to each stadium and checking out each stadium, you know, doing batting practice, something like that. That's something completely unique that True Golf is doing. All right, hole number one, Lofoten Links. I believe this is in Portugal. Really, really beautiful golf course, lots of water, very similar, reminds me of like Pebble Beach. Um, so I'm gonna play the first two holes and one, I think the second one's a par three by some water. So I'm gonna really wanna show that to you. And as you can see, 286 yards, downhill negative 9.6 feet. Uh, but what do you think of the graphics? I mean, to me, it's night and day difference, right? I feel between the two, um, really good looking graphics. Let's hit a shot and see how we do here. I try to hit that tiny little fairway. All right, hit a good shot there, finally. 227 carry, 234 total distance, 57 yards away. All right, so we're 57 yards away. I'm gonna be using a 58 degree wedge. And let's see if we can get this thing close to the hole. All 
Definitely a little short. We show you all the real shots here at Garage Golf. That was a bad shot. Let's see if we can get this one a little better. A little better. Not that much better, but a little better. So now we're going to be putting here in the floating links hole number one. And right now, I don't think they have the tracer or anything, so we're putting it out. All right, so we got 5.1 yards, two inches uphill. I'm sure this is just a beta thing, but later on in settings, I'd like to be able to change anything on the green to feet. I don't want to see it in yards. I'd rather see it in feet. So hopefully that's something we'll be able to see, along with, again, adding the line break feature and some of the other cool stuff that we have on E6 Connect. But let's hit this putt and see how we do. Uh, again, I don't see a way to even read like the green or anything quite yet. So again, all beta stage stuff. Just keep that in mind. Hit it too hard. Hit the flag stick. 2.8 feet away. Gave me the gimme though. All right, so again, hole number two, 153 yards. Got water pretty much all around us. Really, really pretty hole. Let's take our shot here. A couple other things you'll be able to see. If you click this little button down here, it actually pull up more information. So it gives you the side spin apex, all of the data on one screen. So that's really nice. Take that away. And down here, if you were to click this, you want a clean interface. Just completely, pretty much eliminate everything that's on the screen, which is nice as well. If you just want to have a nice clean look of the shot, take away all the data tiles. And then this one here will take away the ball tiles as well. So you can pretty much have a pretty darn clean interface without all that stuff there. I like it though. But just something that you could change if you want to, just so you're aware. I'm using an 8-iron. I can change it here manually for now. I can't give it the verbal command, but I can change it. Let's hit this 8-iron. Got the right distance. going to be a little left, though. Not bad. I'll take that for sure. All right, 13 yards away, 2 feet downhill. Again, probably because we're in beta, I don't have any data on what kind of penalty I'm getting or anything right now from the rough. I'm not worried about any of that, so I just kind of want to show you some of the gameplay. But I am in rough, so I don't know how hard to hit this. 13 yards away, I use, I'm using my 58 degree, so let's see how it reads it from the rough here. Went further than I wanted. So I'm sure all that will be fixed, you know, as this continues to rolls out, roll out basically. So now I'm eight yards away, and let's hit this putt. Rolls out, dun, dun, dun. rolls out. If it doesn't rolls out, it rolls out, it rolls out, it rolls out. All right, 24 feet basically, and I'm uphill. I think I'm gonna have to give a little something, something here, a little something, something. A little something, something. All right. Made that putt. Nice. All tripping all over myself. I made that putt, though. Pretty awesome. Let's talk pros and cons of the TrueGolf Apogee. Again, I just barely getting my hands on it, testing it out. If you are interested in the Apogee at any point, reach out to me first. I'll get you in touch with the right people to get it ordered, uh, to get some more info on it. So let me know if there's any questions anytime you watch this video, whether it be now, six months from now, and I'm recording this in December 2023, make sure you reach out to me. I'll get you lined up with the right stuff. Again, I want to be your go-to person for any of your golf simulator questions. All right, so let's talk some of the pros. The AI on the Apogee is incredible. I like the fact that you don't have to go back and forth to your computer. You don't have to use a control box. I think that's really, really cool. Um, overall, everything testing with the Apogee has been pretty good. I had a couple kind of quirky shots with wedges um, where I got kind of some weird numbers. Uh, but overall, again, everything's still kind of working. And that's only with the Apex software, not with the E6 software. So keep that in mind. E6 is definitely much, much more polished. And the Apex software is just a beta, as we've continuously said throughout this video. So don't judge anything based upon what you see on Apex other than just checking out the graphics and what the gameplay is going to be like 
but I'm really, really excited about Apex. I also like the camera integration and it having it up on the E6 Connect screen after every shot. So you're seeing where you're making contact. When I use the Unicore device, I have to have View Software up alongside of something like GS Pro, for example, so I can get both those screens you know, really on two separate monitors. With here, with E6 Connect, I'm getting everything on one screen. It's all built in. It's pretty darn accurate, pretty darn fast. So I do like that as well. And let's just be honest, on your ceiling, the Apogee looks pretty darn cool. I mean, it has the light up, has everything. Kind of reminds me of Kit from Knight Rider or something back in the day. Again, I always, always age myself here, but that's all right. Uh, really cool looking device. And I think it's definitely something that just exudes quality that you see with it. And um, just overall, I'm really, really happy with the ultimate design of the Apogee as well. Okay, and as with anything, we always do a little pros and cons. I never bash any products. Um, obviously, anything that people send to me to review or check out or anything that I buy with my own money because I know how much hard work and dedication goes into a product. But with anything, there's always room for improvement with any product, even if it's something that we design and we think is perfect. It's got to be something that everybody else gives their input on, and that's, how you, that's the only way you get better. So let's talk a couple of cons that I would like to see different with the Apogee as well. First and foremost is the hitting area. Uh, it's definitely smaller than most, if not all, ceiling-based launch monitors that I'm aware of, including the Unicore. Um, I'm not too familiar with the TrackMan IO yet. Definitely a lot, lot smaller than the, the actual uh, Foresight GC Hawk. And we're talking an area that's you know maybe five, six inches big, this big, you know, where you put a ball. And in today's world, where we're trying to have righty and lefty set up, you know, that's a very tiny hitting area for you to be able to put a golf ball. I mean, it's almost as small as a Skytrack. So definitely something that I don't, I don't think it's gonna be anything that they can do on, with this specific device with a firmware update. Could be just be something that was built in based upon the camera selection. But that's definitely something that I've, I've kind of talked to them about since day one. I'm not a fan of the hitting zone being so small. It works in a space like this, but it's not gonna work for everyone, especially righty, lefty. And if you have a true righty lefty setup where you can't move your hitting area, that kind of thing, you're kind of stuck with where you're gonna be placed with that device. And the calibration is not as easy as say like the Unicore IXO where you can actually move that hitting area. So you gotta make sure you mount the Apogee exactly where it needs to be because we're pretty limited with where that area can go. So that's definitely, I would say, my biggest con in regards to the Apogee itself. Number two, and I think that this is definitely something that can be fixed possibly with a firmware update or an update down the road, but I think all launch monitor companies are kind of going this way, and I think it's something that we definitely have to kind of keep an eye out for in the future, um, is that with the Apogee currently, you can only use it with the E6 software or in the future with the Apex software. Now, while I think the Apex software is phenomenal, and I think it's gonna have a whole lot of cool stuff coming out with it, I do like choices and I do like having options. So the ability to not play third-party software such as a GS Pro or even TGC 2019, Awesome Golf, any of these other options that maybe sometimes are say, more family friendly, different options, different things, or just someone's personal preference. Um, you know, when you spend X amount of dollars on a launch monitor, in this case, I think around 11,500, I think you want something that's gonna give you the ability to have choices. And that's definitely something that you know, if I'm giving my feedback to TrueGolf, I feel like that's something that would be a nice feature to see. Now again, the Apex offer may come out and blow us all away and be really awesome. But again, I still think having some choices is a nice option as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I think it's pretty fair. I always try to be fair on my videos. There's a whole lot of things I love and there's a couple of things I don't love. And that's okay, that's just my opinion. Other people may feel differently. Uh, but again, I'm a big fan of the Apogee, I like it. I think it's really good. I think you still have some work, obviously, with the Apex software, but I'm excited to see what the future will hold. I'm gonna to continue to do videos on this device as it continues to update. So uh, even as of the time of this video, there's a firmware update that I'm needing to do to kind of go through it and update some stuff, and I think that's gonna help with some of the little quirks and things that we see. And as we continue to get this thing closer and closer, I'm gonna to continue to update you at home, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and we're gonna be pumping out videos on the Apogee as we continue to move forward. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure, again, reach out to me, Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. If you're interested in the Apogee, email me first. Before you do anything else, email me. That's what I'm asking you to do. This is how we continue to make a living here at Garage Golf. The best part is it's completely free to you guys. So I want to be here to help you. I want to be here to make sure that you don't make any mistakes when you're doing a golf simulator build. And that's what we're here for, guys. That's what I want to do. This is my full-time job now, so I'm completely 100% relying on you watching this video. I mean, I'm looking forward to staying in business and helping people as they continue
to want to build their golf simulators or improve their golf simulator setups in the future. So that pretty much sums up our video today on the TrueGolf Apogee. We used a little bit of that with E6 Connect. We used a little bit of that with Apex. Apex still has some work to do, obviously, but the graphics, I think it's undeniable how good it looks. It looks pretty darn insane. I got some lights on in here with the camera lights and stuff. What maybe washes out the screen a bit, but the graphics overall is phenomenal. And uh, I'll show you, just compared to the screen behind me, I'll show you right now on the screen an actual video shot of what it looks like. And it, this is just in 1080p even. Let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see, graphics are pretty darn crisp. Got the nice water, it looks beautiful. And when I have all the lights off in here in my simulator bay, it looks phenomenal. So really impressed overall with the Apex graphics. All right. All right, so that pretty much wrap. what am I doing? That pretty much wraps up this video for today. Um, again, as always, until the next time we see you guys, you guys keep on golfing. I'm here anytime. Until the next time we see you, as always, catch you on the next one. Thanks again. See you soon.